Hello, um, this is, I'm Paul Hager with Hexagon Safety and Infrastructure, and today we're going to be talking about on-call dispatch. Um, and the first thing I wanted to describe to you about the new next generation CAD product is the map. Some of the enhancements from the map that you're seeing here is it's a true multi-source map, and it no longer requires you to create your own maps you can point at and use your own, your own intelligence from different sources. So I can go ahead and pick up a, a map box map here, open streets map, determine what kind of graphics I want to use without having to actually create the map. This was a, in the legacy products, this was a, a workflow uh, thing. So let's talk about other things that can happen. I can bring in imagery very quickly and easily and aerial photography or other layers and other intelligence. So I don't have to manage that intelligence anymore at my comm center. This is, uh, again, a, a definitely savings for the future and also brings in things like being able to address verify from third-party sources or route from different types of sources, even bring in real-time traffic type of sources into your display. Uh, first off, some things that you're gonna see on the screen here, you'll notice that the symbols describe what kind of event it is and if there's units already assigned to the event, I can click on the event and show the units and it shows me the type of event it's on. I can actually just go ahead and select right on the map and do actions from it, uh, whether I wanna add remarks to the call, uh, change the status of a unit, various different things. Let's go ahead and grab one of these and just select on it and see the details of that event and the, and the information about that, including if there's any kind of recommendations or if I want to add additional comments. Very easy to add additional commentary as well as even control the interface of, the, of how I want to use it if I want more space on it. Talk a little bit about some of the other en enhancements besides seeing the details of, of, the, of the information. You also have the ability right from the event queue to dispatch and select and dispatch from the event queue without having to display. Or if I'm looking at my events and I've got units out on events, I can do things very quickly like see where is these units at, what are they assigned on, and from here, use the command line if I choose and go ahead and route this unit. So with the system, I can use my interactive mouse, I can use my, uh, my map, I can use my command line, various different ways of entering that in and seeing the, the enhancements or the updates on the system. When updates come in, they notify, so there's auto notifications, which did not exist in the iDispatch environment in the past. Um, one other thing I wanted to highlight here is, as you can see, I've got them broken down by police, fire, and EMS, so multiple agency, full mail to agency support. And if I want to, it's got smart search capabilities throughout it. So if I just want to find out where my mobile unit is, which is uh, PHP in this case, where he is, I can just start typing, and it takes me right to the unit, the event that he's on. I can see that out on the screen here. Let's go ahead and select this, this incident of, uh, that he's on. And the PHP, uh, as you notice here, has assigned units on it already, and one of those is my handheld device. In this case, I'm bringing it up in an, uh, an iPad. This runs on Android or Apple devices. Um, and you can see I'm in route. I'm gonna go ahead and change myself to arrive. And you'll notice on the on-call screen, up in the cloud, it's already updated to the arrive, and I can see my comments. If I wanna add additional remarks from the field, I can simply do that with my voice, Say I want them to be critical remarks. Additional information about the knife. Submit that just that quick. We see it in the CAD Center. So a totally web-based, um, very quick, very interactive with the mobile workforce. And another thing about it is it supports video and imagery. So in this case, there was an image attached to it already from either from the mobile or the field. That same image, if I look at my media I'm on the same event, you can see it out on my iPad. So we're all communicating back and forth, next generation, uh, video, animation, and uh, still photography. Picture's worth a thousand words when you're out in the field. So every person on the event can see that information. So that's a few things I wanted to point out about the mobile. Uh, last few comments I wanted to make were uh, the ability in the commands to see your units and not only see your units, but see what your units are doing. So in the past, your unit monitor was full of units. 
very hard. You'd have to scroll through because the real estate on the screen. Here I can just simply say, show me the J units. And I can quickly get to the units I want to see in the J shift. Or if I want to go ahead, bring up a certain unit and see where, what's the details of this unit. Um, what, what additional details are on the unit, various different things. If I want to see his unit history, I can see if he was on stressful event in the past. I can see everything about what this unit's been doing as I'm making decisions. So again, it's giving the dispatcher more information quicker when they need it in front of them without having to do a lot of searching and extra types of work with the system. Uh, there's a last point that I would make about the on-call dispatch, Hexcon on-call dispatch product line. Um, and that is that it's administered from one web service as well, from one tool as well. And that uh, administration tool allows me to go in and control things like even the way the layout is and how the graphic layout that you're looking at and is split very quickly and easily. Thanks for uh, watching the presentation of the Hexacon on-call dispatch software.